hope. But what about Israel? What about that tiny little country that has been vaccinating everybody there is, not letting them travel, not letting them, you know, go into places of, of entertainment or out to restaurants? They need a passport now. Well, because of that, again, another voice crying from the wilderness. We now have voices inside of Israel that want to start a new party. Perhaps they understand what Geert was talking about. Here's a, it's actually an audio. This went viral around the world. Listen to this. It's been very, very, very intense over here in Israel. I don't know how much you're seeing, but they, uh, it's terrible. It's, it's a very, 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 very frightening situation. So I joined a brand new, we made our, we had a human rights movement and we made it into a political party that's running in our, in our Knesset in uh, less than a month. And they're censoring us and attacking us and they won't allow any, any media, nothing. They, they took away the head of the party's, his medical license and they uh, removed our platforms from Facebook and now they won't let the media even write about us. So we want to ask all the international, anywhere we can get, to get to publicize what we are saying. Well, I hope that CNN and MSNBC and Fox and all of the networks in America hear Alana Daniels' plea. Please, we need the media to help. We're being censored. We're being silenced. They're taking away the license of doctors that are creating a new party, an anti-COVID vaccine party that believes in medical freedom. Well, we're going to do our best to get it out to the millions of people around the world that watch The High Wire. I am joined right now by Ilana Daniel. Um, Ilana, what is going on in Israel? I mean, I, I honestly think of all of the places in the world to have an oppression of a people using a medical experiment on them. Israel should be the last place, and yet you are now running first with the most vaccinated population and the most draconian laws for anyone that decides to not vaccinate. What is happening there? Hi, Dale. Yeah, that's exactly right. Um, out of our 9 million citizens, they claim that they've vaccinated already more than 5 million of us. And you have to think that 2 million are, are young children. Um, they began an um, incredibly undemocratic uh, process of, of rolling this, basically it's a forced vaccination, um, only not in name. They started in the middle of December and they succeeded. They claimed that by the end of March that they'd vaccinate all the population and they they surely have and we have come to realize that that is under um, a contract that our government made with Pfizer in order to use the citizens of Israel as its uh, test subjects amazing and so so you've decided to create a party almost very just specifically about this issue is this what is is that remaining four million or so are they pushing back i mean is this a group or are they lining up and can't wait to get the vaccine what are you dealing with there well i think there's an there is no informed consent and there is no risk benefit analysis what i listened to you just the the segment before is, is mind-blowing and terrifying i feel a bit speechless now what i wanted to say because um, knowing what this people is facing. You have a, a, a real little island of us here, and it's half the Jewish population in the world. And, um, and it's a really aggressive program that's being rolled out. There is, you have this country that receives its news in Hebrew, which is the only place you get news in Hebrew, and of the news is absolutely fear-inducing and, and, and only positive... Uh, announcements about this vaccination. There's almost no ability to even um, have a, a clue of what the actual data looks like of, of the people who are being injured after, after receiving this vaccination. So this party 
took the initiative. It's it's uh, politics that's still a bit of a dirty word, uh, even in my own mouth. It was really a, a, a human rights initiative to say we we're the only people talking about this massive elephant in the room that says that the citizens of Israel have sat in a cumulative five months of lockdown. Five months in our tiny little Israeli apartments, uh, law-abiding, healthy citizens uh, under house arrest um, and, and, and really jerked around back and forth with the government with extreme behavior modifications and, and, and extraordinary limitations closing our skies, keeping us locked in. Um, and, uh, and, and what you have today is, is people who are, are, are willing to just do about anything just to get their lives back. And, um, and so there's not a whole lot of holdout. There's a few lone voices, of course, but. And I would imagine that, you know, you said this is a sort of a human rights, it started out as a human rights group, but now you realize, you know, we've got to get into politics probably because you weren't getting any press and thinking, hey, if we run and get into politics, we got an election coming up, at least the news will have to cover that. But instead, you're being completely censored. What type of censorship is your group experiencing? Well, as you started to hear the clip, it was one really tremendous afternoon where they remove facebook removes something i'm sure you remember um about sixty thousand collective people from the pages of repay this political political human rights movement party and of dr avni the head and then in that extraordinary move the uh ministry of health actually uh asked a retired judge to make um he he revoked, he essentially went above and beyond the call of duty and revoked the medical license of the head of the party. And what we saw, what happened from that clip was there was a huge bunch of media reaching out to Dr. Avni to interview him. And then by the evening, it was people were referring his calls and they weren't, uh, then they were um, canceling the interviews with him. And I understood that moment that from a very high up place, they re they realized that they wanted to censor us completely. And so that hurried call that was that that went around the world really miraculously, because that that was ultimately the intention was I realized that we would not we were being completely silenced. And I knew that we had to go around and and get the pressure from the outside in very much because we here in Israel understand that we are the model we are supposed to be the poster child whatever they jam into a paper and call success is meant to be implemented for countries across the globe. And so it was really my saying, this is a chance, let's come together because this is for us and this is for all of us. Um, you're absolutely yeah. right, and you are. You're, you're right. You know what we're seeing is what can happen to a democracy. What can happen? How your, how quickly your rights can be stripped away. When is the vote going to be? We'll make sure to get just this video out so that it can be shared uh, all over the platforms by people. We have uh, we have a huge following, I know in Israel, but also people in America that can share it with their families. So give me the name of your party and and when we're going to have the opportunity to vote for people that you you, you might be right. You might be literally we might be voting for the remaining island of human beings that will survive this in Israel. For all of the attacks that have been on Israel from so many different sides, it's incredible that the greatest enemy may be from within, and it may be this vaccine. So for those people that want to stop that from happening, when can they vote? What's the party called? What's, what's going to happen? It's called Repay, which means healing in Hebrew, and elections are March 23rd. Um, and... Uh, yeah, we are going up against um, against what we never expected. We never thought those of us who have seen Israel, it's it's a refuge. It's it's meant to be a refuge, specifically for the Jewish people, but for all of us. So the fact that we have turned it into uh, a manufactured police state overnight um, is is facing is is for those of us a a, a huge um, betrayal, really. And, and something that we're not willing not to stop fighting for because there is nowhere else to go. And, uh, and, and, and we know that it's, um, we, because we know that this is a global plan, um, um, we know that this, it's time to buckle down all the more. That's Well, we, the high wire supports you completely. Like I said, we'll get this out there. Thank you for being brave and bold. 
I am sure that comes with consequences. I know that clearly you're on a bullseye. They're looking at you. But there's so many brave people, just like the scientist Geert that we, you know, uh, is out there. I believe that evolution, a change, and, and a brilliant world lays ahead of us. But boy, are we going to have to fight like we've never fought before. So everybody watching this, definitely let's make sure that this the repay party, um, that people are aware of it in Israel. And my understanding is if you live in America, uh, but you are, um, uh, is it Jewish? I think that you can vote, right? You can still vote even from America. And, and no, is that not the case anymore? No, I mean, if you're Jewish, you could become a citizen, but... but so only citizens, without... but living here, they can still vote in Israel. Well, it would, I guess, depend on whether they could actually get here. <laughs> okay, of course all right. So, so then call so all your friends in Israel. Let's make sure we, we help with this issue. And thank you for being a beacon of truth and bold and brave. Our prayers are with you. Thank you, Dan. All right, take care. Well... I know this has been a fairly long show, but for me, I sit here and I think that, you know, if there was, you know, growing up Native American, we always had that thought, it's a good day to die. If we were never to have another high wire show, I think that this may have been the most important information we've ever shared. We now have scientists and people from all sides stepping up, those that would even any other day probably been against us, that are now screaming, you know, from the tops of the mountains. We must stop this. We must stop this mass vaccination now. And I want you to think about what Geert is saying, is that we are creating a virus that is very close to being completely out of control. It's going to be our own doing. And I've said this in interviews with New York Times and everybody. I said there has never been a natural virus or bacteria that has wiped our species off of this planet. But a mistake by science, rushing the science, which are the most scary words ever put into a sentence, that could wipe our species off the planet. And for all of you out there that have decided to not get this vaccination, you must recognize now that you are carrying a massive burden. Only our immune systems will be able to handle all of the variants that are being created, even these deadly ones. And the question at the end of this entire cycle and this ridiculous moment in human history the question will be, were there enough anti-vaxxers? Were there enough people that left their innate immune system in place and their nonspecific antibodies to kill the variants as they came so that humanity could survive? I think that is actually the question that is upon us now. So when you ask yourself, what can I do what is my responsibility? Oh, I'm a little embarrassed to share some of this information with my friends. I will let you know that over the last two days, I have emailed that video and texted that video to every doctor, every producer, every person I can think of. And I'm going to continue doing it tonight and over the next few days. If there's one person I've forgotten that I didn't send it to, that will be on me. You must, we must together right now get Geert's information out to the entire world. They are going to attack him. They are going to try and discredit him. This is no longer just a theory. This man is standing and telling us the truth. He is saying you are seeing it. Where do you think these variants are coming from? Whether or not there are enough people that deny this vaccine, that hold on to immune systems that can carry our species into the future, now relies on us. I know you're going to do the right thing. I know you're still listening because this matters to you and the future of our children matters to you. So go out, do the right thing. Get this interview to everyone you can and the LinkedIn letter that he put out and make sure you let all of your friends know that this guy's resume, say, look the guy up before you start flapping your lips. Look him up and recognize that this is a man we better listen to. Do the right thing this week, and we'll catch you next week. It's on, baby. We're all needed now. I'll see you next week. Thanks for watching, and thanks to the High Wire Insiders who make this show possible. 
If you'd like to become a High Wire Insider, then go to our website, thehighwire.com, and sign up now. And please, share the show. We're on Twitter, BitChute, and now on Roku. Because knowledge is power, censorship is real, and we need all the help we can get.